Night of giving thanks. The Philadelphia Phillies recognize those who provide valuable services to those in need. Our Alexandria Hoff met them at Citizens Bank Park tonight. This is a holiday party unlike most any other. First of all, it's taking place here inside Citizens Bank Park in the Diamond Club. And yes, there are big names in attendance, but the real stars of the show, the community heroes that are being honored. Phillies first baseman Reese Hoskins and team manager Gabe Kapler were among those in attendance, as was a name you might not so easily recognize. First name? Brandon. Last name? Holiday. This is one of the local heroes being honored at the Phillies Charities Inc. holiday giving party. I feel blessed. I feel grateful um, to go from being depressed and, and having a low self-image to you know, 12 years later and six years after starting a nonprofit, go from six participants to 150. After a series of illnesses, 10 heart attacks, and the loss of his leg, former police officer Brandon Holiday is now the executive director of the Athletes with Disabilities Network Northeast. He was accompanied by his service dog, Dyson. I got a grant from the Phillies. Um, they're a great organization. In the past year, Phillies Charities has awarded more than $2 million to local charitable organizations. I lost my mom to domestic violence about uh, 13 years ago. Bobby Delapola saw the Laurel House as an outlet. It's a comprehensive domestic violence prevention organization. He is one of the hero honorees who also works for the Phillies. And the fact that my employer, the Phillies, is, is so supportive of, of me doing things um, outside of work in the community, it, it, it says a lot about the type of organization organization that I work for. At Citizens Bank Park, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.